Hello everybody, welcome back. That's a new video for Sentence Completion. The grill a musical instrument traditionally made from a dried and hollow gourd is thought to have originated with the Taini people of Puerto Rico. Players use a wooden stick to scrape along bridges cut into the side of the gourd, creating sounds that are highly the sounds produced by griots can differ based on the distance between the bridges, the types of strokes the player uses, and the thickness of the cord. And then we have four choices to put uh, directly after the word highly. One of them should be filling in this gap. Overlooked, powerful, routine, and variable. What we need to notice here is the column that is put directly after the gap, which means that the coming part is a sort of explanation to what came before. So the clues that we have here in the sentence, as we said, number one is the column, and we said that the part coming after the column is a sort of explanation to what came before. So what coming uh, starting from the word the sounds produced by griots until the word of the gourd, this is all to, to explain the word in the gap. The second clue that we have is the word differ, which is very important. And then we have uh, the factors that uh, cause the, the difference, the distance, the types, and the thickness. So we have the word differ, which is the main clue, and then we have the factors that cause the difference. So what, what do you think the answer would be? If we look at A, overlooked, okay, sounds are not overlooked because the word overlooked means unnoticeable, something that you cannot notice. If it's something that you cannot notice, uh, first of all, that's a musical instrument and the sounds are highly whatever. And so you cannot say that the sounds are unnoticed. B, powerful, it's not about the strength of the sounds. Nothing here to refer that the sound is strong or weak. C, routine, if the sounds differ, they are not routine, they are not regular, they are not unchangeable. So the word that fits here is the word variable, which is choice D. Variable means dif uh, differing according to factors. Do we have factors? Yes, we do have factors, the distance, the types, and the thickness. The second example that we have here, visual artist Gabriella Allen states that the bold colors of comics, pop arts, and Latin culture have always fascinated her. This passion for the rich history and colors of her Latinx community translates into the whatever art she produces. Um, if you think on the sentence here, you can find that there is a cause and effect. The cause is the fascination that it, she has towards the bold colors of comics, okay? And the effect is this, this fascination is translated into, is shown through. So uh, which one do you think is the answer? As you can see, uh, the clues are shaded for you here. The first clue that is shaded is the word bold. Okay, and the bold here is an adjective to modify the word colors. If you modify the word colors with the, wo with the word bold, it means daring colors, strong, strong colors, clear colors, bright colors. And these colors that are uh, clear and strong fascinated Gabriella. So um, she was positively affected by them. And then this uh, effect was translated into, was shown through, okay, her artworks. How can you imagine her artworks to be? Okay, they are also clear, strongly affected, they are bright, they have deep colors, okay. These meanings all apply for the word vivid. If you think of the other choices, 
bright and deep and strong colors cannot be unknown. And then we have the word definite. And the word definite means to, to be defined. You cannot say defined artworks. This is an adjective that cannot uh, uh, modify the word artworks or confirmed artworks. And then we have preserved. If you think of the word preserved, it has two meanings. It's not easily showing the emotions, or if you say that the seat is reserved, it means that it's kept for a reason. Either meanings cannot be applied for um, the, the meanings that we have here. Let's go to the example that we have here, and you may find that some of the words are not very familiar, so please add them to your vocabulary list. We're studying the use of external stimuli to reduce the itching sensation caused by an allergic histamine response. Lewis Ward and colleagues found that while harmless applications of vibration or warning can provide a temporary distraction, such whatever stimuli actually offer less relief than a stimulus that seems less benign, like a mild electric shock. Okay. As we said, we have some unfamiliar words, but uh, that's the case in many of the exams that you may find unfamiliar words in one of the questions, but you have to try to get the meanings or the, over, um, the overall meanings and uh, get the answer. The choices A, deceptive, B, innocuous, C, novel, and uh, D, impractical. Here's a shaded for you here to help you understand the meaning of the sentence itself. So the scientist Lewis Ward and his colleagues, they used harmless applications of vibration or warning. Okay, these are harmless stimuli, harmless factors they used on the skin. Why to um, Check about the external, uh, the use of external stimuli to reduce the itching sensation. So think about it. Um, you f you feel uh, something itchy on your skin, so they use something from outside to calm down this itchy sensation. What are those things that can be used? Uh, vibration or warning? Okay, are they harmful or harmless? They are harmless. But for their surprise, when they did this, they uh, found out that those stimuli can offer less relief than a stimulus that, uh, that seems less benign, less evil, less um, harmless, like a mild electric shock. Okay, so what do you think here? Um, what is the meaning that we need to put here? Actually, we need to put the word that modify the word, uh, the, the vibration and warning, because they are exactly, they are harmless stimuli. Okay, so if they are harmless stimuli, can we use deceptive in choice A? No, actually this is a word that cannot be applied to modify the word stimuli. Then we have the word in a course, okay, and then we have the word novel, and then we have the word impractical. Which one should I exclude at once? The word novel means something new. Can I take it? Um, vibration and warming are not something new. So you need to exclude it. Okay. If it's something impractical, it means that you cannot use. So again, this should be excluded. And then the choice would be B, innocuous, okay. Innocuous means not harmful, okay. And uh, it's aligned with the meaning that we have. Please make sure to add the new words that we have taken through those three examples to your vocabulary list. They would be so important to you in your reading questions. And don't forget to send all your questions and feedback on English for fun, English skills at gmail.com. Thank you and see you.